everyone this is paper kitty here welcome back to my channel i hope that you will enjoy this video that uh, will show you what i've been up to in the last few days just trying to get together on this journal called snow and what I'm doing right now is basically showing um, how I am measuring a piece of paper um, the size of the spine and uh, I'm doing that because that's kind of a little quick hack for measuring out to sew in the signature so what I do is basically I just get a piece of paper as you see there and um, I score it basically with my nail um, using you know the actual edges there of the spine on the inside and once I have a you know pretty close to perfect uh, score on there I was ha having a little trouble um, ripping that so I went ahead and, and pulled out the, the scissors so I can actually cut a little better so anyway uh, it's actually exactly the size of the spine now and I didn't have to use anything other than a piece of paper and a scissor so that's a little hack you know if you get a little lazy like I do and don't want to run and get a ruler or a pencil but you know eventually you do need uh, a pencil probably be a good idea but right now I am just folding the paper and um, I'm folding it right right on the middle right down the middle and then once I've done that I am going to be folding again on each side you know so basically finding the middle of that little strip of paper and then finding the middle of the left side of that and then the right side of that so that basically you get like three scored sections you know three folded sections that are kind of perfectly apart um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fold the that little paper um, top to bottom you know but I, I think right now I'm doing the other side is what I'm doing so you know and and again that's just a way it's still not like super perfect probably I'm sure measuring and using a ruler and a pencil is going to be better but you know sometimes you just want to have fun and sometimes having to run up and get this and that and the other can kind of kill the, the joy a little bit and so um, yeah I'm just kind of doing it this way you know there's so many ways to do things and um, this is just a way that I've learned to do it and then what I'll do a lot of times with it is I will actually keep that piece of paper and I think further along in the video you'll see how I think I might have well not this paper but another paper I had adhered it to a piece of cardboard and so that way you know I, I would have if I'm gonna make books like this exact size which I I do make them fairly often um, so I just keep it and then I don't have to make another one of these again every time I make a junk journal so that's another thing to create templates is, is a good idea um, and so once you decide like on a book size that you tend to use then you know then that's a good way to you know to not have to do that every time because then again if you kind of can cut down a little bit on your work um, you can get down to the fun part quicker which is you know what will keep you motivated um, what keeps me motivated because I just can't wait to get to the fun uh, parts and just you know journal or well, really I don't journal honestly I really don't um, much because I just have too much fun decorating but yeah uh, I am now 
going to kind of look at this paper and fold it um, top to bottom and that's going to give me kind of pretty close to where I'm going to be in the center but of course I'm not going to poke any holes in the smack center because this is going to be a two signature uh, junk journal which is why I am actually uh, going to go ahead and and kind of eyeball it now but it's going to be very close to the lines on on either side of that center line you know so I'm not going to put any lines in the smack middle of the thing but I'm based on the other guidelines that I made I'm going to put a little dot on one side and another dot on the other side see how I had to erase because I was like nah because you kind of have to eyeball it a little bit and see where you want the signature to be and it's almost like it's okay to have a little gap in between the two signatures more than it is to have like an enormous gap I think in the beginning or the end just because you know usually you end up making the journals fat fatter and fatter and so it fills up that middle pretty pretty nicely but if you you leave too much space in the front or too much space in the back I think it just doesn't look that good but you know that of course is just my opinion so yeah, so I kind of, I guess from experience, kind of eyeball more or less where I think it should be, which, which is going to be kind of between, you know, the middle of each side. I don't know if that's making any sense, but I'm hoping that it is. I, I know what I'm saying, but <laughs> when I hear myself, I'm thinking, oh Lord, I don't know if this is making any sense to anybody else. But anyway, I could kind of like probably say it in a different way i'm sure this is not going to be the first how to junk journal video that i'm going to make so and actually i have done uh, others but um yeah that was when i was first starting i actually think they were probably less helpful than this one maybe i don't know <laughs> but okay anyway so now that i've um created you know decided where those holes are going to be i'm going to commit and put my all pokey thing through there and you see how I folded the paper that was a good way to kind of get a good measurement you know because since I've already measured the middle really well then if I fold the paper over and do my holes it, they're going to line up pretty good like that by you know doing it the way that I'm doing it so yeah, so now I'm just poking the holes in the middle and like I said, the holes on each side and then uh, just making sure they're like a good size so that I can really now, uh, now that I'm looking at it, I could kind of eyeball and see, okay, is that where I want it to be, you know, and so then um, I'm going to start in the middle. I know some people start at the top or the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and just start at the middle because that's where I feel comfortable starting. I feel like that's a good way for me to know where the middle is going to be um, because otherwise I have had, I have made my share of mistakes and may, made the, the signatures like way too scooted to the top or to the bottom. So um, I don't know. I find that if I go ahead and do the middle first, that that happens less so uh, I'm holding down the paper really nice trying to make sure that I get um, a pretty good you know I know some people put like phone books or other things underneath the book but it just so happens that underneath this book I I have a really thick tablecloth that's kind of lace ish and so it allows me to have a little give and it's enough for me to make those holes and so then I kind of flip it over just to make sure that they have gone through to the other side and so I'm kind of redoing them to make sure that they are a nice size hole you know you don't want to make them enormous because then you know your signatures I feel like are going to be a little less secure but at the same time you need to make them big enough to where you know when you go through with the needle you're not going to have a really hard time trying to get through. So there again, it's one of those things that you kind of learn with experience. Um, so not too big, not too tiny. 
Um, so yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my signatures. And I'm going to start with one signature and um, basically measure it out. And when I say measure, you know, like I said, I could just use that little folded paper that I used for the spine and then, you know, try to line, line it up in the center. And so I'm going to get some of those little clips here in a minute and adhere the top I believe in the bottom but before that you know you want to make sure that your pages are where you want them to be you know I I typically um, you know it is a little it's a little tricky when you have like the middle the center signature like the one I have going on there because you can't really it's not really long enough to or big enough for those clips to kind of hold it in place so it, it is a little tricky but yeah I could definitely um, go ahead and just at least uh, get a couple clips going and apparently I'm having a clumsy moment because I'm dropping everything <laughs> but yeah so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clip that uh, on the other side just to kind of get a good grip on both sides because I think if you just put it on one side it, it holds okay but maybe it moves a little bit so I think having maybe just like one on each side is probably a good plan and then the one in the middle obviously looks like it's a little challenging because it's a small you know bit and um, so yeah I think my husband keeps bumping the camera, <laughs> so I'm sorry if it, it kind of wobbles there. I may be moving it too, but I don't, I don't think so. I, think, I remember thinking, okay, I'm going to have to do a voiceover now because people are walking and bumping the camera. So, okay. So, yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and measure that out now that I've fiddled around with this trying to you know I don't know if you notice the little ends of the clips are you know kind of holding that a little bit not really that well but I figured you know as long as I can at least get the center hole in there you you know I, I afterwards if it if it wobbles or falls out a little bit I can kind of you know not worry about it too much just for the making of the holes obviously once I so you know that has to be in there but while I'm making the holes it, it's going to practically skip that center page altogether. so it really doesn't need to be there when I'm making the holes so I think if I remember correctly I actually do remove it because it keeps moving on me and it like drives me nuts so I think I end up removing it but yeah I'm kind of closing the book a little bit because whenever you put the little all tool through the middle or even through the top and bottom you don't want to do it with the book flat opened because I, I found that you're more likely for it to go through like a different sections of the pages and then they don't fold over quite as nicely but if you kind of close it a little bit while you're putting that all through there um, then it you know you're able to really make sure that you're going through the crease otherwise you might go like I said kind of you know out of that but yeah I'm already working on the bottom one I guess it's not really a good shot for you to see how, how I did that but apparently I had already done the middle and yeah see how I take out that center because it's just driving me nuts because I mean it, the top and bottom holes are not gonna hold that anyway so you know there's just no need for me to keep that there for making the holes obviously when I sew I will have to have that and um, I'm trying to see if maybe I can 
work on the uh, image a little bit. I wish it would have been in frame a little differently, but it is kind of hard to show what I'm doing anyway. But anyway, you get the idea. I, I ended up putting a little, you can put a nail or a pin or anything that is a little thick through the middle. I, I forgot to tell you about that, but I, that's what I do. I just kind of keep that little, it's a nail. I think it's like a nail of some kind. I don't even know what kind of nail it is, but it's a big enough nail where once I make the middle hole, I can stick that there and it kind of helps keep the papers also, you know, aligned and together. Uh, and so now I'm measuring out my thread, which, you know, you basically measure three uh, lengths of the book three times uh, the length of the spine so that that should be a good enough size um, to have a little extra and you know have those little dangling tails and I do like them on the inside which is why I'm gonna start sewing from the inside and and um, I know some people they sew from the outside in and that's because they want to have their tails hanging out on the outside of the book which I've actually never done um, I'm not sure why I guess I've just always loved the um, that you know the little threads to be on the inside I love hanging jewelry or paper hearts or paper flowers or paper butterflies or whatever I think it's really cute on the previous one I put um, like a little Christmas tree like a tiny Christmas tree and a little like charm that was like a snowflake on the on the previous one so that was really cute now that I think about it I have another snowflake charm so I will probably put it on this on one of the two signatures here as well because uh, well, this book is called Snow, so obviously, you know, that might not be a bad idea to have some snow, little, little snowflake. So there again, uh, sorry for the shot not being super, you know, good to see. I don't think you could, I'm trying really hard <laughs> to be in frame, but it, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah. So what I've done is I've, I've put it through the middle and now I'm going to the bottom. So in through the middle, through the inside, and now I'm on the outside and I'm putting it in through the outside in to the bottom. Okay, so that's all I've done so far. In through the middle, on the inside, and then pulled it back in through the bottom. Now what I do differently, or I haven't seen it, and I don't know if this is the best way, but this is the way that I like to do it, is I just sew that bit right there I sew it because before I go any further I do not want my pages moving or my book moving or anything moving I want to make sure that the whole signature is where I want it to be and so I actually make the tightest knot that I possibly can and once the knot is made, I go back in through the middle and then go back uh, in through the middle on the inside of the book. And then, um, yeah, once I find the pre-made hole, I go through the outside and go back in through the top. And... Um, so yeah, so now I'm going in through the top and and that's what I mean by, you know, you don't want to make them too tiny because then it's, they're hard to go through. But at the same time, you don't want to make them enormous holes on the spine there because it doesn't really look that nice. And also, I don't think it helps keep the pages. But yeah, I'm just showing you how this one went through fairly well. I, I feel like I may have made the holes a little bit bigger on the page because I kind of put the all a little bit too far in so but anyway I think the main thing is really trying to make a really really tight 
height um, knot there in the middle and when I do that I try to keep the needle right you know even if it falls off I will literally put it back in there because I like the way I think I'm, that's what I'm doing right there I think it did fall off and then I'm putting it through again just because I like to um, use that because somehow I don't know it helps me anchor it tighter I, I don't know why that is but I don't know but it just makes me tense it up more and so it it ends up I mean it's one of those things that you'll have to try I mean you might be able to do it without that and that's fine too but I, I even heard that tip from somebody on YouTube and I can't remember who it was but anyway yeah the point is to make it really really tight and then uh, yeah you make that knot and there you have your first signature and you have um, the dangles on the inside and I'm just showing you you know how how the uh, signature is sewn in and it's fairly straight I mean if you look at those Christmas trees it is going right through the, the middle of them so I feel like that's pretty straight and it's pretty secure because it's double knotted I usually double knot them by the way I don't think I said that but yeah I double knot them so now I'm gonna take out the clips and um, and we have a the first signature so thank you so much guys for sharing with me I hope you will subscribe if you'd like to see more videos give me a big thumbs up if you like it and I appreciate all your comments